Uh, my name is David Solomon. I'm a senior product manager at uh, Microsoft, specifically in the Windows Phone team. And uh, my job is to demo and show the phone, so that's what I do all the time, all day. Well, the phone that I have here with me is the Nokia Lumia 800. It's uh, one of many Windows phones that we have uh, in the market. And every Windows phone has the exact same operating system on it, which is Windows Phone 7.5. So the experience you see here is the same experience that you would get on a different hardware, except essentially the hardware will be different. And so one of the things that's so different about Windows Phone is we talk about how it's an experience that really focuses around people. So I'll show you exactly what that means. We have this thing called the People Hub right here at the top right. And when I go into the People Hub, I have all of my people from Facebook, from LinkedIn, from Twitter, Hotmail, uh, Yahoo Mail, Gmail, Outlook. They're all in one place. All I've had to do is go to my settings and connect to these different accounts. And then I have everyone in one place. But it's more than just contacts. I can actually see their status updates right here without having to access any application whatsoever. We also have another great feature inside the People Hub called Groups. Groups essentially enable you to manage uh, your different groups of people the way that you would in real life. So for example, here I've created a group for my family. My family group is very, very rich. So I can see here I have tiles for the different people in my family, and it's very personal. So for example, if my sister Emma were to uh, call me and if I were to miss the call, it would say right on her tile that I've missed her call. If I get an email uh, from my mom, it'll show on her tile. And of course, I can do group communications right from my group. I can also see their status update so that if I want to get, uh, get a uh, status feed that's more personal and that reduces all the noise, I get the status update feed for just my family. Now going back to the start screen, I can see that I can actually pin uh, my family group right to my start screen so I have easy access. And again, this is a live tile that will show me notifications from the people in this group. Obviously, if I want, I can also pin a specific person on my start screen. And this uh, gets into uh, the discussion around how much the start screen on a Windows phone is customizable. I can really put everything that I want on the start screen. Live tiles are essentially uh, a concept that we built into Windows Phone 7 that enable developers to build uh, tiles that have information so you don't have to go inside the application in order to get the information. So a great example of that is weather. Here you can see I have a weather tile. I've actually pinned two separate locations to my start screen. And I don't have to go inside to see that it's 14 degrees in Barcelona and one degree in Seattle right now. I have all sorts of other tiles. So the stock market hasn't opened yet, so there's no change right now. But as soon as the stock market opens, we'll see that my uh, stock tickers that I've chosen will start updating. And this concept of live tiles applies to all sorts of other applications that are out there, whether it's getting traffic, the Groupon Daily Deal, uh, or you know, an NBA game with scores that are updating in real time. Now, in Windows Phone, there's also something else that we've built in. We've taken the best of Microsoft and built it into the phone. So an example of that is Xbox Live. There's Xbox Live games that enable users to get achievements and connect with their friends. That's built right into the phone. We also have Office built into the phone uh, out of the box. That means you can read your Word documents, you can annotate and comment on them. You can see Excel spreadsheets in great detail, see PowerPoint uh, presentations exactly the way that the person who built them intended for you to see them. That means with animations and slide transition. And that's all, that's all something that comes out of the box with all Windows phones that, uh, that people buy. The fast piece is not really the hardware. We've completely re-architected Windows from scratch about two years ago when we built Windows Phone 7. And what makes it so fast is that we built a very clean operating system that works extremely, extremely well. So the wonderful thing is if you'll take a very high-end Windows Phone and compare it to uh, you know, a more cost-effective Windows Phone, you'll still see that the core experiences go extremely fast on both. Now, we do work with a lot of different handset manufacturers, uh, Nokia, HTC, Samsung, LG, ZTE, and others, to build different hardware that really works for different people. That means different screen sizes, different colors, different battery lives, etc., etc., different cameras. So really, everyone has uh, the ability to look for the phone that works for them. We've run a challenge that we call the 100 Euro Challenge in, in Europe. We call it the $100 Challenge in the US. Uh, it's a very simple challenge. Essentially, we uh, take uh, folks who have different, uh, different phones, so competitive phones, and uh, we challenge them on everyday scenarios. Uh, it's a very friendly thing that we try to do, uh, where we just level the playing field and say, okay, let's do a task like posting a photo to Facebook. 
uh, or like you know, posting an update to a variety of social networks or sending an email or taking a note. And uh, then we see who goes fastest. And if our challengers go faster than us, we give them 100 euros right there. And if we win, all they have to do is get a photo uh, that says, you know, I got smoked by Windows Phone. Well, specifically, my phone got smoked by Windows Phone. And so we ran this challenge uh, at Mobile World Congress. And as you can see, we got a pretty good win rate. Uh, overall, we're at about 84% wins, and we've done roughly 40 challenges. So we feel really good about this. It's a great opportunity for us to do something fun and show people how Windows Phone is different, and that's really what we're trying to achieve. So we're very happy with this challenge and how it's done for us.